What's poppin' everybody? It's your boy Snowy Kurama, and oh my goodness, we are finally here for some Kingdom Hearts Dark Road. Now, I've been trying to find a Kingdom Hearts game to play on the channel for a while. I tried with 358 Days Over 2, but my laptop would not really support uh, Desmumi like that. So I just kept waiting around, and here we are. It's perfect opportunity. My phone works fine. So I tried a phone game in the past, and it worked out, except for I didn't enjoy the game. At least to the extent of uh, what I was doing on YouTube at the time. So here we are with the, 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 this. I've been waiting for a game like this from Kingdom Hearts for a while. Uh, if you don't know about Kingdom Hearts, then um, I guess I can both say, what are you doing? And uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, you can easily catch up with the story through YouTube videos if you would like. I would definitely say that it is important to know the events that have happened already in the Kingdom Hearts games before checking out Dark Road, as this is about the uh, the road that uh, our main protagonist, or antagonist I guess in those games, Xehanort, all of his stuff that he went through when he was just a lad, just a little boy going through his uh, Keyblade adventure, so... Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what else to explain about this game. I just know that getting to this point was really just about jumping over hoops at this point. Android decided to disable uh, in-system recording for the phones. And I keep messing with the audio because I'm not exactly sure how I should have it yet. I think this will work fine. Anyway, I'm using both of my laptops again for this. I wanted to just use the one. But without further ado, if you like Kingdom Hearts content, here's some. If you're more of a Pokemon fan, don't worry. There's going to be more Pokemon on the way. It's just I really wanted to get into this game. Let's just freaking go. We're just going to accept that thing. We're going to make a new game because screw... Um, screw... What's it called? Freaking Union Cross. I'll put in my birthday. I don't really care that people know my birthday, it's not like we're putting in the actual day, but they just so happen to have my year right, so there's that. Our name? Snowy, of course. I hope that that's not, a uh, special and foreign characters do not appear correctly in-game. What does that mean? Oh, that's right, not, not, um, not actual characters, I thought it was like... You know, we couldn't see Ericus or something. Your name will be shared across Union Cross and Dark Road. Okay. I hope that doesn't mean that Xehanort's name will be Snowy. That wouldn't be fun. <laughs> I've been following Kingdom Hearts since I was 12 years old. Okay, never mind. No more, no more, no, no more of that. Seeing some Union Cross stuff, which if you don't know, that is the game of what happened before everything. Even before the Keyblade War. And I played it a bit, but there's just so much filler missions that I was like, screw this, I'll just watch the important shit on YouTube. None of this makes any sense if you haven't played that game or haven't seen any of the cutscenes for it. It's it's very exclusive, <laughs> unfortunately. And there's our boy. Waking up on Destiny Islands yet again. It's a it's a it's a trend. That dream again. I've been having the same dream over and over again for as long as I can remember. An unfamiliar world filled with unfamiliar faces and an unfamiliar good and unfamiliar goodbyes. As if I'm experiencing a life that belonged to someone else. That's interesting. This island surrounded by smaller desolate isles, a vast ocean, and a never ending sky. This is my entire world. But maybe there's something beyond these waters. Maybe there are worlds like the ones I dream of. 
If I could get to the outside world, would I be able to meet my friends from my dreams? I can't get the thought out of my head as I lie on the sand like a starfish day after day, feeling like I'm falling through the sky. And for people that don't know, this is... Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna have to play this game assuming that everybody here is a Kingdom Hearts fan. If you are on the Pokemon side of things, because that's what this channel usually is, and you think that your Kingdom Hearts friend would like this, please point the please point them this way. Please point them this way. My waypoint. What? The world from your dreams. It does indeed exist. This is nothing but a prison, surrounded by ocean. Should be water, but go on. There is nothing for you here. Is this where you wish to carry out your life? Who are you? I am your waypoint, as you are mine. What do you mean? Who are you? How did you get here? Answers are meaningless if you lack the knowledge to understand them. Here, there is only so much you can learn. You must explore the world outside. Huh? So... So Ansem got Xehanort out of the freaking Destiny Islands? How, how does that even work? How? What? Whatever. Let's continue this dialogue. It's easier than you'd think. One step forward is all it takes. But if you lack the courage and strength, your dreams will remain dreams forever. That's when he jumped in. So a version of himself got himself from his home. Xehanort. Ah, Ericus. It's almost time for class. I know. Wait, aren't you going? Eventually. Always doing things in your own time. It's gonna take a while for the others to show up anyway. That's true. What's it like out there? Huh? What was it like on the other side of the ocean? Must be nice to know. Beats me. Does he not remember? But this is where they found you, right? Yeah, I was lying here unconscious. But what does that prove? Wait, he's got to remember. He took Ventus there. At the beginning of Birth by Sleep, what? The nearest towns we can see are all abandoned. That means you had to have come from somewhere farther away. So, this whole place has been abandoned except for these guys? Huh. Or maybe I fell from the sky. He seriously doesn't remember. Well, that's new. He does not remember. I don't know who's saying this, but you can see it's only part of the picture. Not only that, the things you get used to seeing can fade into the background. Unless those Xehanort. Eh. So you're sticking with, I fell from the sky? Keep an open mind, Ericus. Maybe then you'll actually beat me. Wait, you've been talking about chess this whole time? Come on, we need to get to class. The outside world, huh? What I wouldn't give.
Hmm. Scala ad Kylum. The world where Xehanort and Ericus have trained. Along with these fucks. Oh? Thought we'd be the last ones here. Me too. Being late and running away is what you do best. That's right. And don't you forget it. Just call me Tardy Fleetfoot, what? Okay. Balder's not here yet? Who's, th who's Balder? Nope. And the master? Not here either. Well, that's a first. Keeping track of all these voices is going to be so hard. <laughs> I wonder what's going on! I don't know. This is pretty short notice. We're not here for class? Master Odin! I did not gather you here for a usual class. The day I met the man in the robe, my world was turned upside down. But I got used to it eventually. Your world can change in an instant. Sometimes all it takes is a single step. Episode 1, Unexpected Departure. I hope this isn't going to be like Union Cross, where we have a crap ton of stupid missions in between the, 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 the juicy bits that we care about. I'm afraid I bear bad news. The seven upperclassmen have gone missing, so there's more of these people. During their training for the Mark of Mastery exam. Training? What kind of training? As you know, there are many worlds outside of Scala at Kylum. Before the Keyblade War, all the worlds were joined together. But the war forced them apart, and now their residents know not of the other's existence. To maintain this order, meddling with other worlds is strictly forbidden. However, in preparation for the Mark of Mastery exam, Keyblade wielders are given permission to journey to these worlds to broaden their horizons. And nowadays, we just do it because we want to. <laughs> How does one get to those worlds? There are several ways. I think this is Ericus? Ways you can't share with us lower classmen? Don't be like that, Ericus. You are right, they are taught only to upperclassmen. But today is an exception, really? You're going to tell us? I can't believe this. I would like you to know this knowledge to find the missing wielders. Yes! <laughs> Easy, youngins. You don't have to sound so excited. Yeah, people are missing, you know. Right, sorry. Guys, we get to go to the outside worlds. This is huge. The situation is worrying. Which is why I'd rather be a part of a search party than sit here and do nothing. Guys, aren't you forgetting someone? What about Balder? Oh yeah. Is he still in his room? I'll get him. 
I have given Balder a different task. He will not be joining us today. Oh? What's he doing? As you would all know, his sister is one of the missing upperclassmen. I have yet to tell him the news to avoid any unnecessary concern. Wouldn't, wouldn't he want to know? <laughs> what? In the meantime, I would like you to search for the missing students. Ordinarily, there is much to learn before going to the outside worlds. However, as... What? Oh. Old man boring talk, gotcha. So how should we do this? They gonna make a summoning circle? <laughs> well, the master wants us to split up into two groups. How do we decide? Rock, paper, scissors, Zane, or any ideas? <laughs> ah, just shit all over Erica's, huh? About? Well, we've all studied the other worlds. But you're the only one of us who's been out there. The upperclassmen disappearing are our mission. What do you think's going on? Well, regardless of my past, one thing's for sure. The connection between worlds is unstable. According to the Master, the Keyblade War engulfed the world in darkness. When it was over, all the worlds began being rebuilt into what they are now. But time flows differently in each one. That's what I thought. That's what I thought, but nobody ever like, confirmed that. Depending on when and how quickly they're restored. Some worlds are already complete, and their time has begun to flow. But others are not, and for them, time stands still. Oh! Okay, so the ones that are not completely uh, together are just chilling in time? Okay, I can get behind that, I guess. The different worlds are all moving forward at different speeds from different starting lines. This is weird. Let's say worlds are like people. Some are babies that crawl, some are toddlers that have just started walking. And others born yesterday are already adults that know how to run. Right? Yeah, something like that. What I'm saying is that we need to be careful about what we say and do while we're out there. I need to slow down. Right. Wherever we go, we have to make sure we don't say anything about the other worlds. We need to respect their order. If rules and order are already established in that world, yes. But what if you're in a world equivalent to a newborn? Do you get to just do whatever the hell you want? <laughs> then the rules can be changed. But why would anyone do that? Even if it's possible. Do you think anyone else out there knows any of this? Let's just insert words where they don't belong. Hold up, let's go back to what Xehanort said. I think the point was that the instability of the worlds could have something to do with why they're all disappeared. Right? Right. So some worlds have been completely restored while others haven't. Exactly. But there's no way of knowing how far along a world is unless you actually go there, right? Yeah. That's kind of scary! This is going to be a tough mission, isn't it? Probably. The seven wielders each left on their own, but the master wants us in groups of three. This won't be easy. Guys, enough talk. So how should we do this? Oh, we get to pick our... Our squizzly squad? Okay, so we are stuck with Ericus. So we can either take Ermond, Bragi, Erd, or Vor. So Ermond has attack, and Ericus has attack boost. I don't know what it is er uh, Xehanort has. Bragi has protect. 
Erd has Blizzard, and Vare has Magic Boost. I'm not thinking about Vare, really. I would say Ermond if we didn't already have Ericus. So it's between Bragi and Erd. Bragi and Erd. We don't have a magic user, I guess, so let's just go Erd. Are we good? Keyblade armor. There are several ways to travel between worlds. To ensure your safety, you will be donning armor that wards off darkness, and your Keyblade will become a vehicle for travel. Oh, so... Okay, so they all have freaking rider things. I wonder what Xehanort says. He kind of doesn't give a shit about that anymore. Oh, we don't get to see. I want to see what Ericus is either, what the hell? Did we make it? Looks like it. This doesn't look so bad. Guess I was wrong. We just got here. They've got to be Heartless. It doesn't make any sense that these guys know about Heartless. And... Because I thought, like, unless that stuff was lost to time. That stuff could have been lost to time. I guess that's my theory now. Choose and fix three cards. You can change the style to tap from options. You'll unleash the ability of your first card. Okay. So we're playing a card game. Can I, uh... Okay. Enemies attack every few seconds. Act quickly to gain the upper hand. When you're out of cards, you can tap the reload timer repeatedly to reload your deck faster. When the yellow gauge behind your deck fills up, it's bonus time. You'll receive the max power boost regardless of the color of your cards. I'm just sort of, uh, picking things. Cool. They're like slights, sort of. Am I supposed to match up colors as... Why did the music change to Dwarf Woodlands all of a sudden? Okay. I don't know what I'm doing at all. I read all that stuff, but I still have no idea. <laughs> Not bad for our first battle. Yeah, but we need to stay sharp. I hope the others are okay. I'm sure they're fine. For now, let's focus on finding some clues. Is this just all... What? What? Oh. <laughs> oh no, I guess I'll be back once we're done with this freaking download. Holy fucking god shit. Oh. <laughs> okay, it looks like it's... Oh. Awesome, sweet. Awesome. We're fine. I was about to freak out. Okay, I guess this is the phone game part. I don't care about this. We're not here to read, we're here to bash them heartless. New world unlocked. Agrabah. We have rank one in Agrabah. Okay. Oh, we can change our party from here? Oh, okay. How to play... Events? I have a thought brewing in my head. I will talk about that in a little bit. 
No. I guess this is all crap that I can do off screen. Uh, I guess missions. I got jewels. Is there like, where can I do story mode? Oh, this isn't, do I just do this over and over again? I hope not. I know this is very intensive on the uh, commentary side, but I don't. Is this just? Maybe I should have went Armand. Oh goodness. I okay. Is that just go until you 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 stop? So I just press world battle and I have to defeat 30 of these boys and then I can keep going. Is that it? I think that's it. And okay, well Oh, sweet. And that's a little matchy boy. That matches as well. Look at us go. Oh my goodness. Let's get it. Let's go. Greens. Okay. It kind of seems like we just Grind it out. No, oh, Xehanort, no! So we got two. So do I just keep doing this until I get up to 30? <laughs> On that side, is that how this works? Oh my goodness, that's exactly how this works. Uh, okay. Time to grind it out then, I guess. There will be some skipping in this. <laughs> there will be more skipping here than I ever thought. I wasn't planning on this being a, uh, a skip around and grindy session of fun, but I guess there it is. Next. I don't like that it resets my deck every time. It just seems to do that. Okay, so we're averaging two a fight. I wonder if we change up our, our team a little bit, if we can do a little bit more. We're gonna go with Ermonda this time. I don't know if I'm saying any of their names right, but that's how I'm saying their names today. So I think it's just match up with as much as you can match up with. I just don't know why it changes your deck afterwards if you already have a pretty decent hand. I think it's dumb. Wait, now it's gonna change my shit, yeah. Stop that. Oh, well, we got four of them. Oh my goodness, we just quadrupled our score there. Nice. Yeah, that looks like that's what we have to do for this. So I might catch you guys once we're done with this. Maybe I'll come in every so often with an interjection of sorts. If something cool happens, we'll just have to see. 
So I guess I'll catch you the next time I catch you. All right, we have five that time. Dope. I think we might be keeping Armand. <laughs> Wait, don't auto that. I haven't been pressing buttons this whole time. It's like my older brother freaking unplugged my freaking controller and I was just playing or thought, thinking that I was playing. Is that how I got five? Am I just <laughs> bad? Oh my goodness. Okay, so by myself without my uh, big brother, the auto button, I was able to double my freaking score by just watching and learning, so. I think that's pretty decent for, uh, you know, what it was. It's pretty decent for what it was. Now let's see what happens. I think that was 30. I think I got up to 31 to be exact. But now we got through the mission. New World Unlocked is Wonderland. So we go to Wonderland now? To... Oh, it's the same thing. I think this is just the same thing. What? Yeah, nothing. Uh, what did I just press? Fuck. I need to take a look around before I just start pressing buttons. I'm very slow, so that doesn't really... What? What is happening? I'm so confused. Level up to level two, cool. Get a little bit more extra HP and defense, and then resistances, that would be freaking fantastic. Level three, and we have just a little bit more left for that. We got a charm and some jewels. We got more things. Oh. Okay. I'll take all these HP buffs. I'll... Give them all to me. This will help me out. This is Keyblade Red, Keyblade Green, Keyblade... Okay. But... I think... I think I might just wrap it up here. I'll probably just click around in the game some more, try to figure out what it is we needed to do next. This is almost an hour on my end. I don't know how much of the game I actually chopped up for YouTube. But um, yeah, like this video if you have not already. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and you want some more of that snowy karama goodness. Tickle that bell so you know what I'm uploading. And uh, for all you Pokemon fans, I promise there'll be more Pokemon soon. For all you Kingdom Hearts fans, here's this. And with all that being said and more, this has been your boy, Snowy Kurama. See you in the next video. Goodbye.